Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for checking out the pixelab.net and today I have another motion blur tutorial. Uh, this will be the final one, kind of one last option that you have. Real Smart Motion Blur by Revision Effects and I'll put a link down there, but I think it's about 80 bucks, maybe 90. Um, but it's a really, really good deal for what you get. This is by far the best option if you can afford the plugin. So let's go ahead and add it. It's, uh, go ahead and click our layer. Under Effects, a Revision, and then we have RSMB, Real Smart Motion Blur, and then there's the Pro and the Vectors version. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do the regular version. And instantly, look at that, some super sexy Real Smart Motion Blur right on there. Um, the default actually is pretty good. And um, let's go ahead and put this to full actually, because why the heck not? If you look at how fast this is, we're gonna do a render too. It is unbelievably fast for what it's doing. Um, let's go ahead and start at the beginning here. So yeah, this is an incredibly fast plugin. Like the way that the computer was dogging it with the other options before, Real Smart Motion Blur does not have any problems like that at all. So you kind of have the similar settings, the uh, the amount of motion blur, you can crank it up really fast. None of these affect the speed at all. Uh, there is definitely some warping once you start adding too much motion blur. So definitely keep this around uh, the default 0.5 or so. And then you got motion sensitivity. Really not too many options because it handles it so well. There's really no need to go in and tweak a bunch of stuff. So really, um, this is kind of my workflow. I, I literally just render my stuff out of Cinema 40, slap Real Smart Motion Blur on there, and it looks super sexy. So that is uh, kind of the final option. Um, Cinema 4D is an option, which I do not recommend. Um, there's a couple free options you can do in After Effects, but they really are kind of render intensive. And then Real Smart Motion Blur, which I would definitely recommend. Really, really cool plugin. So yeah, figure out one that works for you, and dang it, just use Motion Blur because it is awesome. Uh, don't make a project without it, people. Seriously. I uh, hope you learned a lot, and we'll talk again soon. Bye, everybody.